Happy Thursday. So I'm a little punchy from doing classes today. So I figured it'd be a good day to do another episode of I've moved to Florida, now what? So today we're gonna talk about the all important adult Disney of Florida. And that would be the villages and the loofah myths and loofah story. So don't don't read into anything here. I'm not I'm not into any of this. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about the villages. So we all know that it's a huge community, um, but many of you probably don't know where it started. So it actually started with a gentleman opening a mobile home park uh, out in Central Florida. And when he wanted to expand, he built a golf course and offered free golf. And those two words together were enough to bring thousands of thousands of people um, to Central Florida. And now uh, the villages, which continues to grow, uh, covers three counties, 20,000 acres, and there's at least 150,000 people living there. So we all know the villages as perhaps a place where someone we know is retired to and you've visited them and you see their golf carts because everybody travels around in their golf carts in the villages. So, but I'm going to talk to you about some of the myths and some of the realities. So here's a reality of life at the villages. There's a woman to man ratio of 10 to 1. So gentlemen, start your engines. It's going to be a great place for you to move to. Uh, it's also on that category, uh, has a very robust market for black market Viagra, apparently. And you've probably seen the stories where uh, it has one of the shockingly highest rates of STDs. So there's a lot of activities at the villages, uh, some less discreet and some more discreet than others. Anyway, uh, so uh, as I said, it's the Disney for adults. So let's get behind the color coding. And I actually have a villages color coding chart here, loofah chart. It's a joke, it isn't true, but anyway, it's fun. So the urban myth of the villages and all of this uh, cougar action and swapping and threesomes and people doing it in golf carts and everything else, uh, these stories have been going around forever. So apparently one of the original stories was that if you saw a woman with red shoes there or a man with red shoes, uh, that was someone who was a lady or woman of the night that uh, proffered their services for funds uh, that also uh, involved a red button. So that kind of went from red shoes to a red button uh, if a gentleman wore gold shoes, that meant he was available. So if a woman wore red, that meant she was available. And then at one point, um, it kind of transitioned to if your shirt tags were hanging out, that was another symbol of something, availability. Uh, and then if you wore a purple shirt on Thursdays, Thursdays apparently being you know, Thirsty Thursday, just like it is here in the Parola household. Uh, maybe if you wore a purple shirt on Thursdays, that meant you were available. And then it went to this loofah thing. So if somebody had to come up with something about the loofahs, listen, people, we're old down here. We don't have antennas on our cars anymore. There aren't antennas on golf carts. How the hell are you supposed to know which golf cart and which car is yours unless you put some sort of color coding thing on it? Back in the day, we all had antennas and your mother could tie a little piece of yarn so she could find her car or your grandmother or your aunt. Or my mother had the American flag t uh, in one of her windows. So that's how she knew which car was hers uh, or which golf cart was hers. These days, they use the loofah system. So despite what the uh, village's chart says, which is, let's see, pink is a uh, soft swap. That means people who like to do it with others in the room. Uh, let's see, blue is the lowest level of full swap, those who can play well with others. And uh, let's see what purple is. Ooh, purple is the voyeur and people who like to watch. Kids, 
It isn't true. If you see a grandmother go by with her minivan and she's got blue loofahs on it, it means it's easier for her to find her goddamn car in the parking lot. It doesn't mean anything. But the myths are fun. And frankly, The Villages is the adult Disney. So if you like Disney but want to get rid of the kids, maybe the place to move to is The Villages. It's a lovely location. If you love golf carts and you love lots of activities, you can check it out and let me know. Meanwhile, have a great Thursday. I'm going to go back to doing graduate of Realtor Institute work because I want to be a better realtor for you. Have a great day.